Good morning. <clears throat> uh, Jim Weldon, Chair of the Colonial Region Republican Committee. And uh, this is today's Daily View. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you may have been hearing about the problems in Arizona, uh, especially Maricopa County. Again, uh, the 2020 election, Maricopa County had massive issues. 2022, again, Maricopa County has massive issues. Uh, Ruder, I'm sorry, um, Rasmussen reported that 46% of all polling places in Maricopa County had various issues on election day. Uh, Republicans uh, have not embraced the, uh, the vote by mail. Uh, they have not embraced uh, the early voting like it is in some states. And so the Republican turnout on election day is always going to be heaviest. Uh, what happened in Arizona is that with this massive turnout, people were turned away. Uh, they had so many problems in, in Maricopa County. Uh, Carrie Lake is, is right now getting gathering information, and I'm sure her attorneys are going to be filing a, a challenge so that the vote uh, is not certified. It's just un unbelievable the problems that they have there. Well, you're probably not aware of it, but we had problems here in Delaware. We had actually some substantial problems here in Delaware. And it either borders on complete incompetence by the Newcastle County Board of Elections or it is a malicious intent. And, and, and I don't know, you know, it's hard to prove the malicious intent part. Uh, you can easily prove the gross incompetence. They ran out of paper ballots at a number of polling places. Jane Brady, the, uh, the state chair of the Republican committee, uh, has uh, documented about, I think, 10 locations where they, this occurred in the evening time when uh, there usually is more of a, a heavier Republican turnout. Um, I personally know in the Colonial Region when different candidates were calling me of, of six or seven locations in, in uh, the Colonial Region that had these type of problems. Uh, how do you run out of paper ballots for an election that had a 42 percent um, turnout, which one of the lowest midterms around? But besides the loss of paper ballots and the pitiful response to the Department of Elections when that happened. These machines had a lot of problems. I know when I went to vote, you had to click on that vote button five or six times. If you weren't paying attention, you might not even realize you never actually did vote. We have a lot of complaints about this type of problem. We have a lot of complaints about people just trying to push on a, a candidate's name. Uh, now, because I'm I'm with the Republican Party. I'm hearing complaints about the Republicans. I, I don't know if the same issue occurred for anybody trying to vote for, for a Democrat. Uh, I did not vote for a single Democrat this year. Um, so I don't know. But look, these machines had serious problems. And this just leads to the entire lack of credibility in our electoral process. It wasn't taken care of in 2020. It hasn't been addressed in 2022. We, we, we made a concerted effort to to do what we can on election integrity. Uh, we had a lot more uh, uh, challengers at the polls. Uh, we spent a lot of time trying to organize, but you know, the things you can't control, you can't control what happens with that machine. You don't have any idea. And the other problem we still have with the, uh, uh, with the abundance of absentee ballots is the verification that the absentee ballot is an actual true ballot from a true person. The only way that can, that can occur is when we have complete and total transparency where both Republicans and Democrats sit down there and can verify uh, the signature, verify it's a legitimate ballot. And that has to be open to the public to be able to see this process. Until that happens, we will continue to, uh, to have concerns. Um, I know that, uh, that Jane Brady has amassed a, a lot of information. Uh, she has uh, made complaints to the Newcastle County Board of, of Elections uh, asking for all of them to resign, complete incompetence. Uh, uh, Mike Ramone, who is a state vice chair and also a, a state representative, uh, he has uh, uh, talked about legislation and hearings that he wants to conduct to look into this process, and these hearings should occur. And Democrats... If you truly believe in the integrity of the voting system, you should join us to make sure that there's no question. No one should ever question the validity of an election. But what we find is we find obfuscation from the Democrats. And I wonder why. Just curious on my part. 
This election integrity issue is a huge issue. I hope you start to pay attention to it. If any of you had any type of complaint going in and voting, whether you were in line and they told you they ran out of ballots or whether you went to the machine and the machine didn't function properly, or you went into that initial, where you sign in initially and those computers were down because that happened in some places too, call the Department of Elections and file a complaint. It's very critical because we cannot continue to use a system that is incompetent and we cannot have incompetent people running our elections. That's the Daily View. Thank you very much.